This is a brief overview of the functionality of the home screen software on the MatchPoint Blade Wood Processing System software. The software is located at the touchscreen station, or as it is commonly referred to, the Human Machine Interface, or HMI. Normally, the HMI is located on the SAWS computer, but certain operations such as the Autodeck and other conveyors may have separate interfaces. But typically, when referring to the HMI, we are referencing Blade software. The software version we are using in this demonstration is 3.0. To start off, let's take a look at the six main sections of the home screen. These six sections are made up of the main menu, the ribbons, status banner, cut list or cut list window, status indicator, and the toolbar. The main menu is shown at the top of the screen. Each menu item has a drop-down ribbon that displays when selected. If you select the file menu, the file ribbon is displayed. Click the Diagnostic menu and the Diagnostic ribbon is displayed. This will happen for each of the six main menu items. The Status banner is located below the main menu where the status of the overall cutting system is displayed, including the Auto Deck and other options you may have installed on the saw. We refer to it as a banner to differentiate it from the more specific status indicators located on the right side of the screen. The Status banner will typically read Ready or Not Ready and occasionally other statuses may appear. As the status changes, so does the color of the banner, providing you with a quick visual clue to the status of your cutting system. Green indicates the system is ready to run, while red means it's not ready to run. Below the status banner is the cut list area. The data for this area is pulled from your truss engineering design files. Important data about boards or parts is displayed here. To the right of the cut list area are the status indicators. These indicators show the status of specific access and components. When the status banner changes to red, indicating the saw is not ready to cut, it is here in the status indicators where you can determine the specific part of the saw that is not ready to cut. When you click on a specific status indicator, functions or options will appear. The area to the farthest right-hand side of the screen is the toolbar. It is here where you will perform the day-to-day -day functions of the saw. These easy access button choices do not change, but they may gray out depending on the status of the saw. These commands are not repeated inside any of the other menus. This toolbar will always be visible to allow quick and easy access to these functions. So let's walk through the HMI screen. We have the main menus, the ribbon area, which shows the options of each of the main menu items. Then we have the status banner, which provides the overall status of the system using colors as well as text. The large cut list window, and to the right, the status indicators for specific access and components information. And finally, there is the toolbar, where you will find the most often needed commands, which are always on display. There is one final button on the HMI. This is the Online Support button, which will take you to the MyTech Machinery website where you will find additional information and support for the Blade Wood Processing System.